three years self-imposed exile anyway. This afternoon, he was dead before he touched the tarmac at Manila Airport. We have two reports. Ninoy Aquino seconds before his death, exultant at his return to Manila after three years of voluntary exile in the United States. Three Filipino soldiers came aboard Aquino's plane to escort him away. Aquino expected this. He faced a prison term upon his return. He got up and was led down a flight of stairs just beyond this door. A television camera crew following him was stopped by soldiers. The TV crew and others on the plane heard gunshots. Seconds later, another TV crew made these pictures of Aquino's body and that of another man said by soldiers to be Aquino's assassin. Soldiers said they killed the assassin. Aquino's body was put into a van and taken away. The other body remained on the tarmac for four hours. Some eyewitnesses said the soldiers shot Aquino, then led the man they described as the assassin to the spot and shot him. But government doctors who examined the body said Aquino had been shot once in the head, supporting the soldier's account of his death. Aquino had been wearing a bulletproof vest as he left the plane. He was warned of possible attempts on his life and had discussed the threat the night before. You have to be very ready with your hand camera because yes. this action can become very fast. Yes. In a matter of uh, three, four minutes, it could be all over, you know. And <laughs> I may not be able to talk to you again after this. So this is the danger, uh -huh, danger. the big danger. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I am taking some precaution. I'm, I have my, my bulletproof vest, uh, hoping that that would be some kind of a protection. But if they hit me in the head, that's, there's nothing we can do there. Stephen Frazier, NBC News. Inside the arrival lounge, Aquino's stunned family learned of the tragedy, including his mother, who had counseled against her son's return because she feared he would be killed. When the leaders of the Filipino United Opposition movements emerged, the ecstatic crowd, believing Aquino to be among them, chanted their favorite's name again and again in welcome. The chairman of the United Opposition Front, Salvador Laurel, told the people what had happened and asked them to pray for Aquino. Ask the Almighty God to save the life of Senator Aquino, if that is still possible now. To the churches they went, still wearing the festive t-shirts bearing the portrait and name of their Ninoy, Aquino's nickname. In a statement prepared for his arrival in Manila, Aquino had requested the Marcos regime to order his immediate execution or set him free. Neil Davis, NBC News, Manila. President Marcos said Aquino had been warned that certain elements plotted against his return to the Philippines, but Marcos added, this does not diminish the heinous and outrageous nature of this crime. Ten 